Hello, welcome back. Previously in the semester, we saw how we can use uh, difference equations to characterize linear time invariant systems. Difference equations, from, from those difference equations that relate delayed versions of x with delayed versions of y, we were able to come up with the impulse response. This was back in the first half of the semester when we were talking about time, the time domain so impulse response. Now we're going to look at how we can uh, extract the frequency response of a discrete time system um, you, from the difference equation. So let's take a look at that. So this is all to say that a, a linear time invariant system, a discrete time system, can be characterized in three different ways. The impulse response, the frequency response, and the difference equation. And you should be comfortable going back and forth from all three. So let's recall what a difference equation is. And I don't know that I've ever written it in this form before, but in general, in its most general form, you have some constant, and I'm going to label those constants AK. Those are not Fourier series coefficients. Just AK times a delayed version in Y. So you've got you've got uh, the k equals zero term would be an undelayed version of y and then um, times its constant right and then k equals one you have y y um, delayed by one sample times some constant then k equals two y delayed by two samples times so its own constant all the way to k equals n so this would be an nth order difference equation equals and then maybe k equals zero to m of some different constants of delayed versions of x, right? And this is a linear constant coefficient, constant coefficient difference equation. Okay? We talked about something similar for differential equations for continuous time system. So linear is that the delays like y of n minus 1 and y of n minus 2 are not multiplying each other. Um, that would not be a linear equation. So, so linear equation we have the sums of these things. Constant coefficient means that the ak's and the bk's which are not Fourier series coefficients um, do not depend on n. They do not depend on n. So this is a linear constant coefficient difference equa equation and this is a subset of difference equations and th this is the subset uh, in which we are interested. Now let's talk about getting the frequency response from a system, right? Because the idea is that this difference equation is characterizing an LTI system where x goes in and y comes out. So if that's true, if, if, this, if this thing is characterizing that LTI system, we should be able to extract from it the frequency response of the system. So we'll use discrete time Fourier transforms to do so. So I will take, so I'll use this kind of script F with curly brackets to say that I am taking the Fourier transform of this expression Okay, and so if I do that on both sides, then I've preserved the equality. So I can do that. k equals 0 to m, bk, x, n minus k, like this. Now, we're going to apply, we're going to keep track of all the properties that we're going to apply. First up is the linearity property of the Fourier transform. So that says that the Fourier transform of a sum is the sum of the individual Fourier transforms and I can tack on the constants a k and b k separately so all that is to say that I can move in the Fourier transform operation like this a k times the Fourier transform of y of n minus k you see that's the linearity property, but just written in a little bit different form in the sigma notation with the, uh, you know, with the with the summation sign. Uh, 
Okay, now I have the Fourier transform of um, delayed versions of y and delayed versions of x. So let's assume that y of n has, or I guess define, let's, let's say that y of n has Fourier transform capital y, and similarly xn has Fourier transform capital X. Now we want the Fourier transform of shifted versions of x and y respectively. So I'm going to apply the time shift property now. <laughs> you see, hopefully you see how things are coming together. So now I have a sum here, ak. So the Fourier transform of y delayed by k is y's transform times e to the minus j omega k equals over here I've got the b case the Fourier transform of shifted versions of x is x, x's original transform times this phasor right e to the minus j omega k so remember that shifting does not change the magnitude of the Fourier transform, it just changes its phase by tacking on that, uh, that phasor right there, e to the minus j omega k or j k omega. Okay, so now notice that capital Y and capital X on the right do not depend on the iterator k, so they can come out of the summation. Okay, so now I have, and uh, I'm just going to switch the order, J, K, Omega. Usually we write the K in front of the Omega. I don't know why, I, I don't know why I did it after in, in, in the previous step, but, but I'll switch that here. And I'll bring out the X there, E to the minus J, K, Omega, like this. Okay, now... Now we're going to apply the convolution property. So let us remember what that is. Recall that in time the output is the input convolved with the impulse response. So the convolution property says yeah you can convolve in time but convolution in time is multiplication in frequency. Again, it should be locking in here, hopefully. So multiplication and frequency, and this capital H is the frequency response. That's what we're after. So look at, I can, since, since I have Y on the left and X on the right, I can find the ratio of those two things to get the frequency response, right? Y over X. So let me get Y over X. So I divide by... I divide by x, right, to, to bring it over here, and then I divide by y's summation, and I get y over x is equal to, y over x is equal to the sum of the bk's e to the minus jk omega divided by the sum of the ak's e to the minus j k omega and that is the answer that is the frequency response of this of the system that is characterized by that difference equation all right so let us now work on some concrete examples so we can see um, how the, you know the mechanics of this works so i'll see you in the next video